a hardware bug has been found on the new RP2350 processor. So this will affect the Pico 2 and any other RP2350 boards. This isn't a security flaw with a new bootloader code. That's being carefully evaluated right now, but a problem with the GPIO inputs. Let me explain. Hi, I'm John, your concierge to the world of the Raspberry Pi Pico, Pico 2, robotics, IoT, and other fun tech. Remember to subscribe and join the community. This is a short video to talk about this RP2350 bug that I'm adding into my schedule. So there won't be the normal um, summary video for this one, but it's gonna be a short video anyway. The bug is described as latching behavior or acting as a bus hold function. This bug applies to all GPIO pins in input mode that are using the internal pull down resistor bank. The pin will respond normally at first and go to zero volts. And then when it's pulled up to 3.3 volts, the pin will then get stuck and won't drop back down. It will only drop to 2.15 volts. This has been caused by a bug in the analog circuitry providing fault tolerance to the pad. Raspberry Pi is not gonna patch this in the SDK or provide um, a revised version of the chip right now. Instead, this has been handled through documentation and training. So what are your options if this affects you? Well, you could change your design to work with a pull-up mode as the pull-up resistor bank is not affected by this issue at all. You could also use an external resistor for pull down if you have to work in a pull down mode. And for some peripherals, we're going to have to work in a pull down mode, aren't we? Or you could reset the port in software after each read. If it's a low volume input, then that's probably fine. Higher volumes, I think this might be a problem. Perhaps a flippant remark could be that uh, we've actually gained some automatic switch debouncing software by doing this. It's definitely something to be aware of in your designs and fairly significant bug. Uh, we have some good workarounds though. If you like this video and it helps your learning or projects, why not drop me a cash tip using the super thanks button below the video. Remember, I'm saving these up to get myself to open source in San Francisco next year. And I'd appreciate your help in getting me there. And I hope to see you there too. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please do hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video. Bye bye for now.